Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about um, how to hoop your ribbon to monogram it for hair bows. I find that it's easier to monogram them before I fold them. Um, you can monogram them after you put the bow together, but you're going to have to make sure that the tails are long or that you can get access to it on a flat method. So this just works out a little easier for me. Um, I have three hoop sizes here. This is the 5 by 7 the 4 by 4 and then like the 2 inch hoop. Um, this one's really good for using small ribbon, but it's also really good for using scrap piece as a stabilizer so it saves you some money in the long run. Um, but once the ribbon or the monogram gets a little too big, you can't use this one very well. This one is the one that I use the most often for my hair bows but when I first started I just had this bigger one before I purchased these and it works you know equally well it's just I feel like it's waste maybe a little bit more stabilizer okay so this is how I do it I take my stabilizer this is the um, medium um, tear away I buy f four or five yards of this at a time and what I do is I cut a strip that's going to be adequate to the width of my ribbon. So if I'm using like the 2.25 ribbon and my letters are going to be about the width of that, I'll just try to kind of cut a piece that is that long. Um, I'll show you here in a minute why I'm doing it this way. But So I'm going to just cut a strip off. I mean, it's a little bit thick and hard to cut so it's good idea just to kind of have some cheap scissors just just for this but okay so what that does is it leaves this intact so you can use it for bigger things but then you got this and it's you know just makes a long really long strip and the reason why I do it like that it eliminates a lot of waste of the stabilizer so, if I was going to hoop it on this big hoop, I'm going to use the 2.25 ribbon for this one. You know, I'm going to take that part out. I'm going to run. So I'm going to leave this bulk in the in the back. So I'm just going to kind of run that through there like that, and then I'm going to take my ribbon. I'm going to match it up with this and make a long line. I'm going to try to get it kind of on there straight. Okay, so I'm going to hold it as tight as I can on this end. And I'm going to take this and kind of pull it together. And see how nice and tight that is. Okay, so hold my finger there. Then I'm going to take and put the frame in on that side. And then I'm going to hold it down on this end. And as I pull on that end, I'm going to push down on the frame with my thumb. And this will take a little bit of practice. You see how nice and tight that is? Now, if there is a little bit of bulk, and there is some... Most generally, I can kind of just take it and pull that. Now, since this ribbon is 100% polyester, it really doesn't stretch or anything. I mean, you don't want it overly tight, but you want it really on there as tight as you can get it without there being any, you know, bulk or anything. So, I mean, that's really nice and tight on there. And then what you can do is, you know, you're going to snap this on your embroidery machine. You're going to find the middle point. And what I do is I put it on the setting that will show the very, the very bottom where it's going to end because I don't want to go past that. But I'll get down here on the end as close as I can to leave me enough of a tail. And then say I would embroider from this point to say that point okay so my letters there I got enough for a tail and when I pop this out I would be able to 
tear off my stabilizer about right there. So then I would only be using from there and there and stabilizer for one hair bow, which is not too bad considering that this stabilizer is really economical. And I mean, then even if you wanted to, you know, do it up here, then you would have enough stabilizer left to use a piece in this little hoop. But I just found that this method works the best. And I mean, that's the same way you would hoop it in the other size hoops. For example, okay, this four by four one. Now I generally wouldn't use this wide of stabilizer on there. Would use a little bit skinnier. But anyway, it you can see it works the same way. Just hold it and kind of pull it together. And then you're gonna snap the top in and then pull as you snap it in. And then you see there's a little spot there and I can kind of just pull that out. And, and I mean, if it's a little bit uneven like it is, I can hold my thumb here and pull this out and then just kind of readjust it. And it's no big deal. I got that a little too tight. Anyway, and that's how I hoop my ribbon for monogramming hair bows.